Hi, I'm Melissa Whitmer. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up Proctorio on your device with your Google Chrome browser. I'll also show you how to enable Proctorio in your Canvas course so that you can set up Proctorio for your exams. So first, I want to look at the document that we've provided and this is from OTC Testing Services and OTC Online. This is linked in the Math Instructional uh, Canvas course, and this provides different screenshots for how you will do these, these different steps. So the first step is if you have any other uh, proctoring enabled as an extension on your browser, you will need to remove that. So if you've used ProctorU in the past, these are the steps for how to remove that from your browser. Next, you'll need to install the Proctorio Chrome extension. So it's important that you use Google Chrome. You'll just click on that link from the document and you'll click on the blue Add to Chrome. And it gives you some different information about what it will do, add the extension. So once it goes through its check, um, it's checking your device and then it will add that to your uh, browser, you'll, you'll actually see a message pop up that says Proctorio has been added to Chrome. Okay, so if I go back to the document, now that it's added to Chrome, what you should see is a little gray shield icon up in the top right corner. So I can see that um, when I have that gray shield displayed, um, then I am able to actually set up the uh, Proctorio on my different exams. Now you need to go to your Canvas course and you'll go to the settings, select navigation, find the secure exam proctor, drag it up to your navigation and you'll need to enable it and then save. Okay, so now that I have that set up, um, I am going to go into the math instructional site and let's work with that sample quiz. So right now I don't have Proctorio enabled at all. So I'll go to settings and now select navigation and scroll down until you see the secure exam proctor. So when you pull up navigation, it's showing you all of the links that are just, that are enabled and showing up in your menu for your course. And down here are the items that um, are hidden from students and not enabled. So I can click here to enable it. It moves it up. I can you know, drag and select it, but it is now enabled. Hit save. And then you will see that link in the menu, secure exam proctor. So now I want to enable Proctorio on a quiz. So if you've created a quiz, go to your quizzes link and select the quiz that you would like to set up with the Proctorio. So the first time that you do this, so you'll have to edit. Sometimes you have to close out of your browser all of the way and go back in so that your browser resets and it recognizes the new extension. What you should see, maybe after a second of loading the quiz when you edit, is you now see Proctorio settings. And if you scroll down, you will now see a checkbox that you can enable the Proctorio Secure Exam Proctor. When you do that, it automatically fills in an access code. Don't mess with that. Um, and that is all you do. So you will just save and now that quiz is going to be enabled. And it does require you to enter in quiz information like the duration of the quiz, due dates, all of that stuff. Um, and then you can also go to Proctorio settings and you can adjust these, which we will have um, these settings established from the math department on what we want these set up to be. When you're done, you will just save the quiz and then you have the quiz that is set up for Proctorio.